What is up, guys? Now, today we're going to talk about a linear pattern. It's not necessarily going to be a simple linear pattern, but the basic elements of it are very simple. The application might be a little bit more advanced, but today I want to kind of take and, and show you how you can take a little bit more complex sounding fill and break it down into individual components and just come up with a system to work through it so that by the time you're done with it, you work through system, you know, you work through the system, one, two, three, four, hit the steps, and by the end of it, you're rocking this thing like it's nobody's business, right? We talk about that a lot in the live lessons. I try to take um, any concept that we've got and I say, okay, now we're gonna put it through this system. All we're doing is plugging it into, it's like being on an assembly line, bam, 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 bam. By the end of it, you got your car made, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, the live lessons have been a blast. We've been adding new people from new countries every week week. I've been just amazed at the response you guys have had. By the way, I've got a book coming out here in the next, I don't know, week or so, uh, but it's going to be on independent studies. So be looking for that. And we've also got some reviews of some really cool box drums coming up off of uh, the box uh, Josh makes some killer stuff. And I just want to, I, I want to put it out there to you guys and let you see kind of some of the independent drum makers that are out there and what they're doing, kind of their ideas of, of kind of developing things like the box kit uh, or the box drum. So anyway, back to the lesson, what we're going to be studying today is a 30 second note fill. It's all going to be based off of 30 second notes and it's going to be based off of two stickings. So that's the first part of the sticking, first part of the system. Figure out what the stickings are. So the stickings for this are foot, foot, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then foot, foot, right, left, right, left. Easy enough, right? That makes up the whole fill or the whole pattern. And what we're gonna do is repeat certain elements within that and place them around the drum kit. So the second thing in the system, after we've learned what the stickings are and we kind of have them down, then we need to learn how many times those stickings repeat, if at all, and where they go on the drum kit. So the first sticking we have, we call that sticking A, is gonna be foot, foot, right, left, right, left, right, left. We're gonna put that foot, foot, and then right, left on the tom, right, left on the snare, right, left on the floor tom, and then the hi-hat. So it's gonna sound just like this. So that's gonna be the first sticking, okay? That's gonna be how we take it through the fill. It's not gonna repeat at all. The second sticking is going to repeat, and we're gonna do three different variations of them. One of them repeats once, okay? So foot, foot, right, left, right, left, if you remember it. Now that's kind of a three pattern, and we're putting it in a, in a four type feel, so that's gonna feel a little odd. But what we're gonna do with the first one is, it's gonna be foot, foot, right on the snare, left on the tom, right on the tom, on the floor, and then left on the snare, just like this. Work it over and over until you get it up to that speed. Just repeat that over and over. And then we'll take the, se the, the various sections and put them together. So we got sticking uh, A and we put it in the, in the pattern that it's gonna be in. Work it over and over. Then we're moving on to that one that we just did with the second sticking. Now we're gonna use that second sticking again and we're just gonna apply it in a bit different way. So this one is gonna go foot, foot, right on the snare, left on the hi-hat, right on the floor tom, left on the snare. So that's the second sticking that we've got and that's the second way we're going to use it. So what you do is run through that and learn all of that. String it together and just learn the pattern and the way you're going to apply it. Now the third one that we're going to do for this sticking is hi-hat, or excuse me, foot-foot, hi-hat, floor tom, hi-hat, floor tom.
And once you have that one, then we have all of our elements. So we've gone through the system of learning what the two different stickings are, then learning how we apply them around the kit. And for the first, I forgot to tell you, for the fourth way that we're going to do with this uh, second sticking, it's going to repeat the first way we did it. So it's going to be foot, foot, right on the snare, left on the high tom, right on the floor tom, left on the snare. And so we've applied it three different ways. So you can see how we just took two stickings and we've made a 30 second note fill out of it just by where we're placing it around the drum kit. Then what you wanna do is take all of those and string them together. So sticking A, you're gonna put with the way you apply it. And then sticking B, you have three ways you apply it. So sticking B is gonna be applied with way one, way number two, way number three, and then the fourth time is gonna be way number one again. So here's how the whole fill will sound like real slow. So you see how we took all four of those. First, we learned the stickings. Then we learned how to apply the stickings around the drum kit and their various uh, uh, various ways we put them around the kit. Then we strung them all together real slow. Now let's speed it up and put them together. And here's what that'll sound like once you loop it for a little while. Now, that was right at about 60 BPM. We're kind of getting it under our hands right now. Let's move that up to 80 BPM, and now we're at a good workable speed. I also want you to see that you don't always have to take a fill and take it to its ultimate speed. I think sometimes too much gets made out of how fast can I play, like how, you just blow a bunch of crap on a drum kit. Sometimes it can be really musical and really cool sounding if you do it at a moderate tempo or even a slow tempo. So this one, we're just gonna take it to a moderate 16th note type groove, but we're gonna repeat it right now at around 80 BPM, just loop it over and over so you can get a feel of how that goes. So we've taken it through the system, learned the stickings, learned how to apply the stickings, put it all together, put it up to speed. Now all that's left is to add a groove to it. So the way I recommend for my students always to do it, whether it be online or in person, is do three bars of groove and the fourth bar, do your fill or your pattern that you're learning. Now for this right now, I'm just gonna do one bar of groove and do the pattern just for explanation purposes so you don't have to sit there on this video and watch me do that over and over. But for the sake of the groove, do the groove for three bars so you have time to settle in and then go into the pattern again. took a pattern that seemed pretty complex, broke it down into real simple elements and two simple stickings, saw how those stickings repeated or didn't repeat, put them all together, and at the end of it, after you've worked the system of learning the sticking, then taking and seeing how many times that sticking's repeated, if any, learning the different variations of that sticking around the drum kit, looping them, putting them all together, looping that, getting it up to speed. You see how this is a system? Bam, 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 bam. And then you add a groove to it, and pretty soon, at that point, you're ready to rock it. Like, at that point, you have it. Once you can play it in a groove and, and come out flawlessly, then you can start going, okay, well, now I could move this thing around the kit and come up with some other stuff. So that's kind of the 
the point I want to get, and that's always the point that I do in the live lessons with the students, is I try to tell them, you don't have to always be over the top with what you're doing, and it doesn't have to always be super complex. Sometimes you can take the simplest idea, and most drumming ideas that are great are simple, and they're just applied at genius level. All right, so this is something that you can take and work on. Come up with your own stickings, but stick with a system. Get a system in place that when you sit down, you go, I'm in the middle of, you know, step three of the system, and I got four more steps, and I know once I get there, I'll be able to use it. That's the way to be able to measure progress in your practice time. If you get a chance, check out the live lessons. There's a dollar special going on. The first month is a dollar. Uh, trial month, if you don't like it, give you a dollar back, but I guarantee you're going to love it. We have a blast in there. And be watching out for the new book. We'll see you soon.